Yes. Luminaries. Living legends. At Art and Design. Wow. Yeah. And Neil Adams, too. So, so Neil Adams is alumni, and, and apparently so is Sue Lee. Yes. Sue went to Art and Design? Where is Art and Design? It's in Brooklyn? Or is it in the yeah. city? It's in, in the city. Where in the city? Is that the one that's by uh, Grand Central? Because LaGuardia is where? Where is LaGuardia? LaGuardia is like West Side. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know. I did rather like that face, but now. Yeah, uh, Yojimbo. Um, Neil Adams is probably gives the the harshest critiques. But they're honest. Yeah. I think that's the thing. Although like... I have heard Bernard once say to a guy. That is, it's just not going to happen for you. <laughs> you got to be honest. I mean, as a hobby or a professional career, there are two different things. There's nothing wrong with drawing as a hobby and progressing at your own pace. But if you're like a 40 year old man with a regular day job, um, yeah, yeah, kids too. With kids, uh, wife, family. <clears throat> At a certain point, there's only so many hours in the day that you can draw uh, without other life responsibilities. Um, you know, it's just not going to happen. I mean, the amount of sacrifices that you have to make. Yeah, Neil Adams used to make people cry. Really? Wow. He'd say things like, I see no redeeming quality in your art, and then just hand it back to him, and then the guy just goes away crying. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the one thing I miss about Comic-Cons these days, is that I remember when we first started, A, when we first started as, uh, as amateurs trying to get work, and then B, when we first became professionals and we were attending comic book conventions, um, there would be a lot more people bringing up portfolios. And um, nowadays, you hardly see that. A, I think the system has changed. But B, just uh, the system in terms of how companies look at uh, review new artists have changed um, at least the major companies Marvel DC um, but uh, it's also changed for the artists you, know, you could you could guarantee that you're gonna everywhere you go in New York Comic Con or San Diego um, you would see guys or art you know artists guys and gals uh, back then mostly guys now uh, I would say a very a much more balanced um, representation uh, with these large black portfolios. And here, here again, I'm breaking my own rule of getting too detailed because I might end up erasing this again. Um, and. Uh, you don't see that anymore, you know, people with portfolios. I mean, the artists that do come by, they have, some might have portfolios, but some will have it on their iPads. And uh, I think it's okay on the iPad um, because there is a lot of professionals that have transitioned to digital, full digital drawing. Um, I think one of the prime examples is uh, Jorge Jimenez. That's all of his comics digitally. Amazing artist. So, 